everybody! My name is Gintare and welcome to Hosting Your Academy. Today I'll explain to you what is HTML or Hypertext Markup Language and what it's used for. Should we start? HTML is the standard markup language for documents designed to be displayed in a web browser. A hypertext is a text that is used to reference other pieces of text, while a markup language is a series of markings that tells web servers the style and structure of a document. It can be assisted by technologies such as cascading style sheets, aka CSS, and scripting languages such as JavaScript. HTML is not considered a programming language as it can't create dynamic functionality. Instead, with HTML, web users can create and structure sections paragraphs, and links using elements, tags, and attributes. Web browsers receive HTML documents from a web server or from local storage and render the documents into multimedia web pages. Here are some of the most common uses for HTML. Web development. Developers use HTML code to design how a browser displays web page elements, such as text, hyperlinks, and media files. Internet navigation. Users can easily navigate and insert links between related pages and websites as HTML is heavily used to embed hyperlinks. Web documentation HTML makes it possible to organize and format documents, similarly to Microsoft Word. All HTML pages have a series of HTML elements, consisting of a set of tags and attributes. HTML elements are the building blocks of HTML pages. The three main parts of an element are Opening tag, used to state where an element starts to take effect. Tag is wrapped with opening and closing angle brackets. For example, use the start tag to create a paragraph. Content, this is the output that other users see. Closing tag, the same as the opening tag, but with a forward slash before the element name. For example, use this to end the paragraph. A block level element takes up the entire width of the page. It always starts a new line in the document. Every HTML page uses these three tags. HTML tag is the root element that defines the whole HTML document. The head tag holds meta information such as the page's title and char set. Body tag encloses all the content that appears on the page. Just like any other computer language, HTML has its strengths and limitations. Here are the pros and cons of HTML. Pros, beginner friendly. HTML has a clean and consistent markup, as well as shallow learning curve. Support. The language is widely used with a lot of resources and a large community behind it. Accessible. It is open source and completely free. HTML runs natively in all web browsers. Flexible. HTML is easily integrable with backend languages such as PHP and Node.js. Cons. Static. The language is primarily used for static web pages. For dynamic functionality, you may need to use JavaScript or a back-end language such as PHP. Separate HTML page. Users have to create individual web pages for HTML, even if the elements are the same. Browser compatibility. Some browsers adopt new features slowly. Sometimes older browsers don't always render newer tags. So, all in all, HTML is a markup language that defines the structure of your content by making elements appear a certain way. That's it for today. Now you're familiar with HTML, but if you'd like to know even more about this subject, check out our other videos in Hosting Your Academy channel. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and have a great day. Bye!